happen like that? Hit this area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna be captain. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. Is it six deuce? 64th? What, bitch? Give a fuck if you not from 63rd. Duck this, the pup lift. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, rightsgangclothing.com for the merchandise you heard me right. If you respect the handle, make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay in tune with everything that we got going on. Salute to every single one of y'all out there. On this lovely, lovely Thursday, so, you know, I was chilling, and a, a message came through with a picture of Geechee Gotti and Murder Mook. Geechee Gotti versus Murder Mook. Geechee Gotti and Murder Mook. I don't know if they are supposed to be battling. I don't know if this is a song battle or whatever the case may be. I know that Cassidy has a showcase coming up with a bunch of MCs on it. That's why you see a lot of MCs in the same place, I believe. Danny Myers, I seen Easy the Black Captain, Rex is down there. A lot of other people, you know what I'm saying? I, and I'm Easy the Black Captain and Rex are battling. You know, they was talking back and forth today. I got Easy the Black Captain winning that, but that's another story. Um, so Geechee got in murder move. This is what Geechee Gotti said. Y'all asked for this, they heard y'all. 2021 finna be the year. Shit changed around here. Geechee Gotti versus Murder Mook. Compton versus Harlem. More details dropping soon with the little goat emoji and a silent question mark. Um, I must say this, as far as Geechee Gotti goes, uh, he stays in the news, keeps himself relevant, and he has been everything that you would want from a newer talent when the URL builds up MCs and they try to make them go to the next level and become superstars. Geechee Gotti has been a beacon of that. A, a, he's been a savior for the West Coast because honestly, you had a lot of MCs that came through, a lot of MCs that are still relevant. You know, you got the Daylights, you know, you had Disasters, uh, Rum Nitties, uh, Danny Myers, and you know, a lot of the Ill Max and other folks. And you know, y'all could add and subtract names as you may. But with what Geechee Gotti has been able to do, he's pretty much put a whole coast on his back, became a representative, and kind of like uplifted the West Coast in a short time, in this couple years. Geechee Gotti has went from literally battling outside in his first proving ground versus Hemi to the biggest name, probably the biggest name in battle, one of the biggest names in battle rap. I don't want to just say the biggest name, but one of the biggest names, top tier superstar, you know, highest level. That's why I said that I really can see him winning the whole tournament because out of everybody left in the tournament, including Rum Nitty, if you take Geechee Gotti's top five performances, a lot of those guys don't have anything comparable to his top five performances. Rum Nitty, yes, I will say Rum Nitty. But besides that, nobody else can hold a candle to the light that Rum Nitty has. I mean, it just is what it is. And we could go person for person, but it just don't match up. It don't, it's not given what it's supposed to give in regards to the other MCs, which is the reason why he's like, yo, I battle again in the in the finals of the tournament and then battle again on Gnome. I take two battles the same day if need be. That's rare. That's rare and it ain't fair that it's rare. Um, you know, but you do have other MCs that put on for the West Coast, like a Rum Nitty. Uh, Rum Nitty is a very talented MC. He does his thing. He puts on for the coast. But what Rum Nitty has in bars and has in lyrics and has and just being an MC, he lacks in all of the other areas. Close to no promotion, even when he does his music. A tweet every now and then is not promotion. No merchandise, no real like, ex like he's not excelling his profile. That's why you see somebody like Rumnity come out before Geechee Gotti, but Geechee Gotti just shot right by him. A lot of these cats don't have what it takes to go to that next level and you gotta have next level ability. Like if you don't have a way to Further your brand, it's just gonna stay what it is. You know, somebody I heard somebody say not too long ago, it's easy to make a name, but it's hard to keep it relevant. And that's just the way it goes. Like a lot of people do the same thing. There are a hundred thousand people who all do the same thing, whether it's 
real estate, whether it's uh, owning, trying to own businesses, or even blogging. There's so many people that do the same thing. But why do you think people gravitate towards certain people over others? It is very, very complicated. This shit look easy. It look easy. It look easy, right? It look easy with the Mac, what I've done to you. But it's kind of different with your backups in front of you. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, it looks easy to jump in front of the camera, talk for 10, 15 minutes, no slips, no blips, no stumbles, no fumbles, and keep it humble in the jungle for the rumble. But it ain't as easy as it looks. It takes a lot of work. So what I'm saying with Gichi Gotti is he has put himself in a position where he can start calling out those upper name veterans. Because honestly, when you look at the, the scale of MCs, he done battled damn near everybody. He done already battled the Rocks. He done already battled the Arsenals. He already battled the Verbs. He already battled like like all the DNA. Everybody on his level and lower, he already battled. Only people that are left are the upper, upper echelons. The Hitman Hollers, the Murder Mooks, the Loaded Luxes. That's the only real level left. And then he had Murder Mook coming back. Um, he battled in the two on two. Uh, his battle versus Rock, he definitely got busy in the battle versus Rock. The two on two, eh, not so much. I don't really know what direction they were going in because they didn't really seem in sync, and then they were kind of like talking over the rounds. Like that, that two on two with uh, Twerk and Top was that just that just wasn't it. We, we could, I'm gonna just go ahead and, and, and get that out of my mind. But with what Murder Mook is able to do lyrically and as an MC, he could def it could definitely be one of them ones. But he's going to have to get into his bag because what Gishi Gotti does now is super relevant. You know, I don't care if you're not from 63rd, duck this. You know, he, he, he uses those relevant punchlines back to back to back. Every fucking blog, nigga. EFB, every fucking blog. Yeah, that, that's cool. Every bar, every effing bar. And that's the reason why I say uh, Gishi Gotti got the power to kind of get past all of these guys, you know what I'm saying, like for real, like he can literally take things that a lot of people don't even normally think of and just use them as punches, you know what I'm saying, like and it just goes battle for battle for battle and, and it's hard to get by and he's probably not going to lose a fan vote if, a, if, if the judges have a 2-2 Geechee guy is going to automatically win the fan vote, if his, if his round is sharp, he's probably going to automatically win the fan vote, how are you going to, who's going to beat him? All the MCs that had a chance that have like a, either a bigger profile, which is very few, or the ones that are more popular or could get that kind of win, they're already not in the tournament. And URL has tried their best to build other stars, you know, but some of the people that they've built or they've put the platform behind just don't take battle rap seriously. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't have to get into name for name for name, Jersey, but you know, I don't, I, it is what it is. You know what I mean? Like a lot of these guys don't take the platform seriously or don't take the position that they put in seriously. And that's why you see them in positions where they're taking all these random battles. A lot of them are now starting to use the same rhymes versus different people. And it just does not bode well, you know what I'm saying, for building a superstar. Now you could be a bottom level MC and just do a bunch of random shit, take random battles, use the same rhymes versus fucking Firehouse Freddy and Microwave Man. And you could do that shit if you want to. You know what I'm saying? You could do whatever you want. But you have to realize if you want to be a superstar, if you want to be at the highest level, if you want to be that guy, really the one, there's just certain shit, you know what I'm saying, you can't be out here doing. I think, uh, you know, as far as like with these leagues, a lot of these leagues be trying to come up off the battle rappers, you know what I'm saying? It's like, if I understand that, but you, you're taking a mitigated risk when you book these guys. But um, if, if in fact, a Geechee Gotti versus a Murder Move battle is booked or gonna be booked. I think that would be good for the battle rap community because the thing is, like I said, when it comes to these legends or these top tiers or these GOAT tiers and things like that, I felt like for a while they don't battle enough. So it's like, I get it that you're all the way up there, but you gotta come outside and get your hands dirty. I always felt like these guys gotta come outside and box with some of the newer people. Murder Mook has been doing it more recently. Like I said, he's had more battles in the last year or so than he probably had the previous five to ten before that, which is a dope thing. Loaded Lux 
Had more battles in the past couple of years. He battled Verb, and they turned around and had the two-on-two. -two. That's the most that he's had in a long time. So it's good to see these guys trending in that direction to start to battle more. But at the same time, it's got to it's got to be a repetitive basis. It can't be I'm gonna just battle once every other other year, and you think you're gonna stay relevant. When a nigga like Gishi Gotti battled Mav Hoffa like two weeks ago, turned around, battled on the tournament joint, and then left the tournament, went straight to Atlanta, and battled somebody the very next day. That is precise. And like I said, he just came off the Math Hoffa battle. I see Math Hoffa carrying on like he won the Gichi Gotti battle. If that's how you feel, that's how you feel. I can't tell you what you did versus what you didn't. I mean, I can watch the battle and judge it from what I see, but I'm not about to go back and forth with no MC about the way I feel from what I saw. From what I saw, I had Geechee got into one. But Matt feels like he won one, one, one. And now he even wants to go bar for bar. I'm not doing that bar for bar shit with Matt because last time, me and Showtime SP, I had Showtime SP break down the battle and he might have not had one bar that didn't even mean nothing. And Matt was like, oh, you lost. But Showtime SP broke the whole fucking battle. So I'm not going that route. I know Matt said, I don't know. I guess he was on the live stream. He said, I don't know bars. Or I can't break down bars. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. I'm good with that. I still got this many views, this many subscribers. It's not bad for a nigga who can't break down bars. He's still my man, though. I still fuck with him. I broke it down enough to say Geechee got it to one.